Right guys, as you can see this is core temp and you can see that the current temperatures right now are about, you know, 68, 66 average and this is where it says low. Now as you can see on the high, now then it goes to crazy temperatures. 97 degrees, 92, 94, 92 and this is on the four cores on the i7-920. Obviously, I mean, come on, that temperature is ridiculous. It's like, it's too much, too, too much. And if if it starts low on 60 degrees Celsius, then that's worrying. So, uh, yeah, I'm recording this so I can compare with the Thermal Right Ultra 120. As you can see, currently, with the statistics that you can see in the temperature readings, I'm on the stock fan. So, uh, yeah, let's see what the Thermal Right 120 Ultra Extreme. Wow. Here we have it. This is the Thermal Right Ultra 120 CPU cooler. As you can see, it's a big heatsink, and you have to buy your own 120 millimeter fan so it can blow with it. This one I've got has uh, LED lights at the corners, four corners. And as you can see, I've applied thermal paste into the base of the uh, heatsink and to the top of the uh, i7 chip. So hopefully once this thing starts it'll work and I mean just look at this is the highest thing. It's considerably higher than the graphics card which does say something and in fact it's fitted in so strongly it, it can support the weight of the whole motherboard. Look, I'm literally holding the whole motherboard from you know the CPU uh, heatsink and the reason why I had to strip open the PC was the fact that let me just show you and do something risky here as you can see if I put the camera like this you can see the base I had to put that bracket down there and unfortunately I couldn't do that bracket through the gap which Cooler Master have deliberately left for instances like this so uh I guess I guess it's because of the size of the motherboard and the location which I've put the uh PSU in. But anyway, this has worked successfully. I've actually found the main problem which I found was this was the easiest thing. And it was these these basically fit in the top and the bottom and you basically you know they just they hold tight the uh fan. But it was so hard to put in and I didn't know. Uh, it was just confusing. But anyway, I managed to do it at the end of the day. And as you can see, these uh, these are supposed to stop the vibration. These little rubber kind of uh, stickers. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to be putting this back and I'm going to see what temperature readings we get. Okay, so I've plugged everything in, as you can see here. It's not that much stuff anyway. And screens are there. Keyboard and mouse and whatnot. And everything's ready to go. I've not booted it just yet. You can, you know, see the size of this thing. Look. It's literally just, you know, sticking out. I mean, I was worried that the case won't actually be able to close. But just look at the size of this thing. Oh, by the way, the fan has LEDs. So it should light up once we fire it up. But something good about the Asus Rampage is the fact that there's an on button on the actual uh, motherboard itself. Located around here, if I turn the flash on, you can see the on button. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn this on. And you can see this red light comes on. It might, it might be hard to see with the flash. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually press it. There we go. Things fired up. We can see the bright LEDs. Right. That fan's working. That fan's working. So, I think you can kind of see that I've tried to do some cable management. Just don't look down there, that's all. All you have to do is just look at the uh, motherboard that's here. There's, there's no wires here whatsoever. No wires here whatsoever. But it's uh, pretty good. Obviously everything goes like Oh, and the sticker I decided to put here. For anyone who will, for some reason, put his head and 
go from here and just look up that way you'll see thermal right you know I thought I've got the stick I might as well make use of it to be honest I quite like the location top left corner and it's just fitted in right with those two um, gaps there so it's pretty cool so now I'm gonna turn off okay turns out I've done something really clever can you see this ATI 1GB 5770 well it's literally just connected to the motherboard and has no power input ah, very very clever thing to do right there but it's simple obviously all I need to do is just plug this in I'm gonna do that right now turn the flash on so you guys can see focus it like so You see, because I turned it on and the screen wasn't coming up with anything. It was just black. So I thought that there'd be something up. Luckily, it's just the graphics card. So it's got power. Everything's lit up. This is blue. This is red. And we have booted for the first time with the Thermal Right Ultra 120. The fan that I bought is a 12 volt, 1700 RPM. I think the change of the CPU fan has been successful. Check the temperatures now. Now the lows are 30s, the highs 41 degrees Celsius. I don't know about you, but I think this is a lot better than the stock fan. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. You know, it was really sticky on and off. And the reason for that is, is because um, usually I've got a beta with me doing the recording. But today it's just been me and my iPhone. And it's been pretty stressful. So uh, thanks for watching anyway and I hope you found this video useful.